um, this is a reminder to start enjoying your inconveniences. I think once you start actually raising above your inconveniences and not letting them influence you on like a micro scale, I think that is when things change so much because it's like I've been fine tuning. I think we all like as a collective, I think we have been, <laughs> I'm just making coffee. <laughs> um, we have, oh, no? yeah. we have been fine tuning. Oh, oh smart. <laughs> Very smart when you find <laughs> Yeah. Welcome to the Caribbean, baby. So, I think we have been fine-tuning our, our vibe, like our frequency so much. I think we've been like through the heavy healing type of thing. And now it's just like catching those weird vibrations that still stem from those like traumas and stuff and like small day-to-day -day stuff oh, clean it. um and one of those things like that you can use as like practice like practicing your new way of being is like your inconveniences like see how you feel when you are inconvenienced you know and then know that you have the power to literally flip it and that's like the most like that's the most beautiful feeling because you feel like it's so powerful like um like little things like i think i said that example before with like if you carry like a heavy bag because i had to move around here so much or like i moved around i got i got i got i got to move around here like so much and i like you know i discovered like a lot of places like a lot of corners so like i'm grateful for it but i had to like i got to carry my bag <laughs> around so much and like all of my stuff and it's a bit heavy because of my cameras and everything and tripods and whatever but at some point I realized why am I letting that like get the best like why why did I let that influence my vibration you know because I think it really it really did but like on a micro scale and before because we still had like those uh heavy heavy traumas wait is it Recording? Yeah. I feel like before, because we still had those heavy, heavy traumas, it didn't, it didn't really make that much of a difference. But I feel like now that we released like the, like the crazy stuff, like the, you know, the, the major stuff, <laughs> I feel like now it does actually make so much of a difference that we can really like fine tune our vibrations and use those inconveniences to see how we are operating like on a day-to-day -day level and oh the battery is almost empty do I, oh, I so i feel like now we can use those and see like how they like affect us because if it affects us like if we because it's like a lot of the times like in the subconscious so next time when you encounter like a mini inconvenience really recognize it and a lot of the times it's like just society's programming. Society says, when we carry heavy bags, we're supposed to feel like, oh, I don't want to carry it. Or like when we stand in a queue in a supermarket, like that is when I really realized, because I think I really overcame that, like already like, you know, like months or years ago with the supermarket queue. But sometimes when there are like a lot of people who feel the same feeling, then I pick up on it and then I'm aware it's not my feeling um, of this like impatience, because I have literally nowhere to be. And then I pick up on the impatience feeling. And it's like, you know, like it's not even mine and it, like most of those, like they're not even our feelings, you know? They are literally, they are literally just um, society, society's little programmings. So yeah, I invite you <laughs> to use your inconveniences as like reality checks. Oh wait, it's so loud. Like to see how you are operating and if you are like operating from your like soul self or if, if you're operating more from like a conditioned belief system self because you know your body is strong you can get like you don't there's no reason for you to feel you know like that way if things don't go like i don't know it's not like the ending of the world so why like if you're not if you're not going to change anything about it why not just oh wow what a pretty bird oh my god it's orange and black and white it's so nice um so why feel so or like if somebody next to you is snoring or like if um you know like all of those little things when sometimes we go into direct victim mentality like either do something about it 
or just be like, oh yeah, it will pass, it's fine, or take yourself out of it, you know, like, but I guess that falls under do some, doing something about it. But yeah, try it out, it's like, it's so much fun, and I love it, and now, like, every time when I feel like it, like, because it, like, raises your vibe so much, it's like, m minor things we think are so small, but I think on a bigger scale, they actually make a lot of sense, like, not, not, they, they make a, bit, a lot of sense, yeah, but a uh, difference, like, they make such a big difference in how you feel, and then when, once you feel good, then, like, that is when your life is, like, literally, like, bam, changing, you know, and then you're not, like, victim to your circumstances anymore, you're not, you stop making yourself a victim to your circumstances, and it's the most beautiful, most powerful thing, thing, <laughs> thing. that was the German accent there, <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching, I love you.